kind of digging it. But then I look over there and I see that. I need to go see what that is. That one would have had a sticker. Oh, is that a mushroom with a lizard on it? Don't grow up. It's a trap. Everyone was thinking it. I just said it. <laughs> that happens to me. That happens to me a lot. Looks like some mid-century pieces down here. But this $6.99 piece up here is worth more than $12 to $15. without it now because it is uh, officially 96 degrees out we are uh, we get like one day of spring here in Vegas and then it's summer uh, yeah it's hot and the tortoises are all like oh okay hunkering down for the day again so they're out in the mornings I get to feed them and play with them and then back away they go tis my life but I'm at a Goodwill. I haven't been to for a very long time, and it's a really good Goodwill, and I suspect it's loaded with some really good stuff, too, because all the Goodwills have been loaded with good stuff lately. So why would this one be any different? So I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to be, I haven't said this for a while, I'm going to be super picky. I have to be super picky right now. So let's get in there and see what I can find. Um, my goal is $50 plus items. Doesn't mean I'm not going to pick up other stuff, but that like I'm setting my mindset towards that so that I leave those $10 items behind. Let's see if I can do it. Let's get shop done. All right. Oh, in case I didn't mention, we are out, way out in Henderson, Nevada. Look at this. There are not very many lucky cards here. Let's grab this one. We are blue for 50% off. So I started at the back of the store today. I know, a little odd, but you know, it was a long drive. That's what I got to say about that. They have some nice little pieces of furniture at really good prices. It's $25 for that little wood table. I'm kind of digging it. But then I look over there and I see that. I need to go see what that is. So they're calling it a bobbin spool rack. And I'm like, well, what else could you use that for, Danny? And I can't think of anything, actually. Nope. You tell me. What could you use this for down in the comments? Let me know. Give me the ideas. All right, I was walking by the glassware heading up to something in the front, and these glasses really caught my eye. They are $6 each. They're made by Libby. But I'm wondering if they were painted by somebody else. Like, they're the Libby black glasses, and then they were hand painted. Oh, look at that. So in, so this is how I have to make this decision. So there's $6 each. That's a $12 investment. So I have to ask myself, could I get like 18 to $20 per glass? I'm not sure I could. I really, really think about $15 a glass might be stretching it. All right. Yeah. I'm going to think about them. I'm going to think about them. I mean, the red tag. So even with my 20% discount that I don't usually talk about, um, I don't get that on these. And I, I might have picked them up if I knew I was getting that. So I'm going to have to just kind of agitate on that one. That's the, the paint's actually coming off of those. So now I'm looking going, what else is in here? Oh, that's a really, really pretty martini glass. And I'm wondering, who makes you? Are you signed? So I could learn more about you because I don't want to buy just one. Pretty, very, very pretty. Let's see what other prettiness is here in the glasses. Since we're here, we might as well look, right? Let's see. Are those? I thought it was, cl I don't know why I saw clowns. I saw clowns there for a minute. These are pretty cloudy and there's only three. So here's my pickiness. I'm, I'm hanging with the picky. These look like Polish glass. They got the bubbles in them. Pretty signature of Polish glass. They're not like super exciting though. So I will leave those. 
Another day, I might have picked those up. But today is not that day. Okay, I don't see any glasses that we need. All right, I may have to skip around a little bit because the store's kind of busy. And I tend to not shop very fast on these shelves and I don't want to be in anybody's way. It says, a teco? A teco? I think. Oh gosh, look at the Oreo cookie tin. That is so cool. I don't think it's old, but it's really super cool. It's 1993, so it's actually vintage. Why do I love that? I, I just, I could picture this as a really good display piece for a cookie jar. And it's only two bucks. I'm gonna, I'm grabbing the Oreo. Now you're already saying, but Danny, that's not very picky and that's definitely not $50. Nope, nope, I got it as uh, something to use to display something that is $50. So there's that. John Wayne. Let's see what's down here, because I see some pretty handles. Look at the handles on these silver plate trays. Very ornate. That one would have had a sticker. Oh, is that a mushroom with a lizard on it? What the heck? That is a mushroom with a lizard on it. Or is it? Oh my gosh, Danny, come on. What is your eye doing? It's supposed to be a piece of pottery with a lizard on it. Never mind. Okay. Let's see what this guy is. I'm looking for a name, and sometimes they're really hard to see when it's tarnished. I don't see one on this one. Probably also had a sticker. All right, it's pretty. And then there's this one. Let's see, do you have a name? I do not see any. Oh, yes, I do. This one has a name. There we go. This is Sheffield Silver on Copper Reproduction. Oh, when it says reproduction right on it, that can't be a good sign. And really the silver plate's all wearing off and the copper is showing. Okay. Let's see. This is another pretty tray with the little gold highlight leaves on it. Pretty brass bowl, made in India. See, I just picked that up, there's like no weight. It says Sheridan. There's no weight to that at all. Let's see if this one has any weight. This one has some weight. But I don't know what's going on with the interior of that. Oh my, that's a serious angel there. What are these little ornament hangers, I think? Well, there's like the bucket that goes with that, which says Godinger. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Odd little piece. Hmm. Maybe I won't come out of here with as much as I thought I was going to. That's the thing about thrifting is it is always, always a crapshoot. You guys know that's a gambling term, right? I wasn't saying something naughty. This is a pretty jewelry box. It's built really nicely. Could be dovetailing. <gasps> Oop, wait, oh, we got things falling over here. Lift it up, look underneath. Handcrafted by Frank Alexander. It's $8.99. You know what? Uh, this is a really pretty piece. And I think I can get 30 bucks for this. So that I am looking. I think it's okay. That's just a little adjustment in the hinge. It's not actually warped. I'm gonna pick this up. Let's see. 
Don't grow up. It's a trap. <laughs> That's kind of true. What do we got here? We've got a little husky dog on a block of wood. I wonder if at one point he had a bunch of friends. Because I don't think I've ever seen a husky dog just kind of working alone, pulling a sled. This piece is nice. Hmm. Don't know much about it. Except it's nice. It's not very heavy, which makes me a little hesitant to bring it home. Greek, what does that say? Greenhouse. Bath on Avon and England. Hmm. Let's see what else is under here. Nothing exciting. This is a cute little recipe box. Unfortunately, it's pretty worn. And it says made in China, so it's not a super old one. Airplane frame. What's the watermelon thing here? Oh, is, is that like a paper plate holder? I think it is. Pretty cute. I like this shelf under here with the copper pineapples. It's very 90s looking, but it is very cheaply made. All right, never mind. Oops, I think that is another anthropology letter no it's just made to look like it the ones i got were actually like puffy fabric that one is not puffy fabric these poles let's see what they say real walnut vermilion there's four of them for 3.99 but there's really eight of them those are definitely vintage and cool I think I will get those bowls. And let's see what the bowl underneath it is. It's also $3.99. I'm looking at the way it's constructed. See how the pieces are kind of put together? That's an older construction on this bowl. And I like the shape. I like the shape. I'm going to grab that one for $3.99 also. Oh, goodness. See, now here's the kind of thing I'm probably going to have to force myself to leave behind. This was painted by Evelyn F. Look at the little chicks. Oh gosh, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't leave this behind. See, I told you I was going to have moments of weakness. Mine and Mom's Crafts. It's from Utah. It's only $2. Yep, I'm not leaving that behind. Another really pretty bowl. Why am I in the wood bowl mood today? Let's see what that says under there. This one's $9.99. See, I am not as tempted. And it came from Walmart. Not as tempted by that. This guy's cool. Oh, that's such a bummer. He's got a broken horn and ear. That's too bad. Oh, look at the cat cork board here. He's fun. He's not as good up close and personal as he looked like from a distance, though. He's not very well done. We're looking for quality today. Little decoupage wood box. Do kind of like that. That's probably a $15 to $20 piece. Oh, Snow White and the Apple. Everyone was thinking it. I just said it. <laughs> that happens to me. That happens to me a lot. Looks like some mid-century pieces down here. It's this one. Look at that. Very heavy. It's $10. It's got a really interesting look to it. 
all hand carved. Looks South American. And then there's also these South American pieces here. How much are these? They are Paul Hallowell Phoenix. These are $10 also. And there are two of them. I think we're gonna pick those up. It's interesting because I saw a lady with another one of these in her cart and I'm wondering why she didn't take all three. What would she use those for? They're made in the Philippines. Little, some kind of little basket scoop thing. These are interesting. I don't know what they're for, but they're interesting. I'm kind of going to shop this store a little different than I normally do just because there's certain rows that I can't even get my cart down right now, much less get close enough to film. These are nice little creamer and sugar. I do like these little Hershey's chocolates. Now you know I'm making little, I'm making little projects. These would be really cute. I'm trying to think, what would I put in these? Like a little cafe scene or make it into a little, I don't know. I'm using miniatures, I'm using florals and different things. I wish these weren't $3 each, but I kind of love them. Okay, let's see. Looks like cut glass. It is, but it's not old cut glass. It's newer cut glass. If this was an American Brilliant piece, this would have been probably, oh, about that thick, and uh, it would have been super sharp, which that piece is not. What is that? I'm trying to figure out what is missing from this. What is this the bottom of? I see hooves, and it's uh, made in Western Germany. A cow? Maybe a cow. I think it's a cow that's lost its head. turkey. Very, very thin ceramic though. Oh darn, only three of those coasters. <gasps> sea salt caramels. Sweetly delicious. Do you like that bottle? $6.99 now. It's hmm. a good little decorator bottle. Got a piece of cobalt blue glass probably polish again you can see the control bubble in there pretty chipped up on top oh wow i picked up a bunch of these at a yard sale that i wanted to use for my project dollar 49 i can do a dollar 49 now i've got more of them it's an interesting little tea caddy that hangs on the wall Let's see what else That looks like treasure craft. Oh, somebody's got a very squeaky cart. It is treasure craft. This is not the correct, that's not, that's not the correct thing that goes with it. I do, no, that's not right. That's not right. That is an interesting piece of pottery. It's trying to look like Namaji, but I don't believe Namaji ever did a high gloss glaze on their pieces. It's a big old potato terrine. Let's see what else is over here. It's an interesting piece of pottery. $5.99. It's just a hobby piece. A little salt and peppers. Asia Master. These are interesting too. Look at the little Victorian scene on top. Eh, not exciting enough. Made in China. Nope, we'll leave that too. Oh, let's see if there's any cool coffee mugs. I do have space for coffee mugs. I've been selling coffee mugs at the store, so 
when I sell something, then I look for more. That's kind of the best way to gauge what's going to sell is look at what is already sold. Look at what your customers are attracted to. This is an interesting mug for a buck forty-nine, but it is chipped. Darn it. I saw that inlaid abalone on there and I'm like, hmm. Plates and bowls, plates and bowls. There could be good things in the plates and bowls. Like, I kind of like this chicken dish here. It is made in Italy, main course elements. $5.99, oops, $5.99. I know sometimes people say I'm really rough on things. I really don't mean to be. It's, it's, it's kind of the depth perception as I'm holding a camera and I go to put it back. I really don't mean to be, and I, and I feel terrible when I bump something. What does that say? Water? I don't know what that says. Conversation? Taylor Smith Taylor, conversation. I do like the blue. I do like the blue, and I feel like I could do something with this, so I'm going to grab this for $2.99. These are really cute. Epic? Turn of the century. Little duckies. And these are interesting. Oh goodness. See? I don't know if you're the same as those. Yeah, you are. It says they're made in Italy. Yeah. I've got plenty, plenty, plenty of big bowls and plates to deal with right now. I really, really do. Cool. Wild turkey. These dog plates down here are pretty. There's ducks back here, and then there's oh, that's not a dog, that is that's a bear. They're mossy oak. I didn't even know that mossy oak made dishes. All right, don't see anything else that uh, we need today. So this teapot, IKEA. Not super special. That's pretty. Oh, we made it to the tchotchke shelves. That is made in Italy. $4.99. Huh. Used to be $2.99 at a different Goodwill. It's not that exciting. Look at me. Look at me being picky. Yes, indeed. I can do it. Although I am told, do not pass by cat stuff. Don't do it, because cat stuff is where it's at. Woo. That was loud. I don't know if you heard that. But he is $6.99. He's probably worth like $12 to $15. But this $6.99 piece up here is worth more than $12 to $15. That? Oh. Okay, wait. That's interesting. So that goes on the wall? I just have a lot of damage on the back, which isn't horrible. I'm just trying to figure out if you mounted it like that, why is the bottom flat? Is it like just, do you put a candle in it? Help me out with this one. I'm going to get it just because it's beautiful, but help me out with what to do with it. I never have a problem selling beautiful Talavera and Tanala pottery. So that was easy to decide on. I also never have trouble. Uh, selling food dogs, so I'm gonna pick this guy up too. I do love those beautiful handcrafted candles, but sadly, like I said, we're already up in the 90s. Candles are a no go. I'm trying to see what that is signed as. Unfortunately, he is cracked. He's cracked all the way through, which is so sad. I don't like that he's cracked and that I have to leave him behind, but I just don't think he's going to make it too long. Made in Japan for Lord and Taylor. $5.99 on that. That's kind of a cool box. $1.49 on the little cork art. I don't see anything wrong with it, so we'll grab that. Look at this pig. Oh my goodness. Who makes you? You're modern. You're pretty awesome, though. 
I will leave you for somebody else. Somebody else will definitely grab you up. It's a pretty porcelain bowl back here. Oh, view Avalon Santa Catalina Island. Made in America. $5.99. Oh. Catalina Novelty Company. Cool case. Is it six bucks cool? I don't know. I don't know. See, this is where I get torn. Do I do I know I can get my six bucks back out of it? Absolutely. But you know, this is where the picky comes in. I really, you know, I have to I have to make a profit on stuff. I'm I just I don't know. Something is saying buy me on this piece. I'm gonna do it. And then I see this piece. Kit T at Peggy Turchette. Santa Barbara Ceramics, which I absolutely love. He is 10 bucks, but he is worth it. Grabbing him. And this is what always happens at the store for me. I get in trouble because there's just too much cool stuff. Look at this little duck made in Japan. Rachel had a chance to come with me and she turned me down. So she doesn't get that one this time. Oh my gosh, look, it's a flamingo. He was just nine dollars at Big Lots. Now he's just three. <laughs> okay, look at. I'm gonna leave him for somebody else. I know, I know. Some of you, you just, you just got mad at me for doing that. Industrial farmhouse ceramic cow planter. Look, I'm leaving him too. I'm leaving him too. Let's look for better stuff. Better stuff, Danny. Stay focused. What is this bowl down here? Let's take a peek. Oh, it has a stand that goes with it. Wait, it's got a hole in it. What is going on here? I like the glass. It's 10 bucks. I don't know why the glass has a hole in it though. Why does the glass have a hole in it and it goes on a stand? I don't understand. I'm gonna leave it. Okay, let's see what's over here. Hmm. Oh, there's the sugar that matches that tea canister that I found earlier. This bottle has a nice look to it. Nice stopper. But I don't think it's that exciting. All right. Every single store got some of this. And I know many people have told me, you've got to buy some, you've got to buy some. And uh, nope, I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's just, uh, there's too much of it out there right now goodness here's a whole nother shelf see if there had been just one or two pieces on a shelf I probably probably would have done it but not in the quantity that I'm finding it I guess somebody made a very mod looking drip candle holder that's fun let's see Majolica, Majolica elephant Oh, I like these blue flowers down here. Let's see what you are and who you are and how much you are. $1.99. You know, plastic flowers have gotten so expensive, but I don't think there's enough here for me to justify spending two bucks, as crazy as that sounds. Scented soap petals. Okay, all right. Ooh. I do like this little natural bark wood vase. It is vintage, made in USA for $3. I'm grabbing it. There's a crazy little lizard sitting up here. Ooh, $7.99, let's see how you are signed. Let's see what you say under there. Carols, $7.99. It's a little steep, it's a little steep for me on that. We'll leave him for somebody else. Glass or pottery? They are pottery. For a minute they looked like glass. They were so shiny. And I don't think there's anything else on these shelves except I see something interesting. It's $50. So that keeps me from really looking any further. 
Reason being, it just, it wasn't something that I would put in my own decor, like a piece of glass. I'll take a chance at $50, $60 on a piece of glass because it can go in my display case until it sells. But if it's something that's not really my style, then those I tend to pass up. It's this little tree here. What do you do? Oh, you do light up. $2 for that little light up tree. Again though, I'm making projects. I like the little light up tree for my projects. Let's see. Can't see a mark on these. They're vintage, but they're that. They're vintage, but they're not. They're not desirable vintage. I even hate to hear them say that. Have them. I hate to have them hear me say that. Yeah, that's what I meant. Don't want to hurt their feelings. We have little painted ornaments. Hmm. All right, let's see if there's anything in the bathroom section. <laughs> that moose is fun. I tend to really stay away from used toothbrush holders though, unless they're like special enough to put a little cleaning into. Look at these Paris shower curtain rings. Why did that not come out of my mouth? I was like trying to come up with the words and it's right there in front of me. Shower curtain hook. Set of 12. Four dollars. They were ten dollars at Marshall's but who knows how long ago. Probably some time ago. I feel like those would be an easy flip. In fact I think I still have my Paris theme shower curtains and I could I could pair Paris it up with that. Ha! Huh? Okay, sorry, that was a little too cheesy even for me. Little suction cup hooks, but I do like the little bath bath thing on there. Is anybody in here? Nope. It's empty. Alright. What's this case? Up up pray? I should not even try to pronounce some of this stuff. Sense of Soy. Dream Doodle Draw Kingdom. Oh, that's fun. Every time Rachel's been in my office, my notebooks all have little bird pictures on them. She just like, you know, in about two minutes can draw me a fantastic bird or a turtle or something amazing. And I'm really working on her to start making more of her art that I can sell in my whatnot sales. <gasps> Look at the birdies on this paint by number. No, okay, I'm gonna leave that one. Because I have to remind myself, she doesn't need a paint by number and I'll never do a paint by number. So I need to not pick up paint by numbers. Okay, don't see anything in the pet section either. Look in the sports. I'm always looking for things for Noah in the sports, but I don't see anything exciting here today. I do see some flamingo lights though. What are the chances that these work? Battery operated though. I'm not a big fan of battery operated because then batteries have to be replaced. I'd rather just plug stuff in. Oh, I was hoping those were in better condition, but they're not. They're all ripped. That's too bad. I have lamps that those would have gone on. Let's see if there is anything in the lamps over here. Nope, not today. Okay, here's our little art. Take a peek through. Let's see if anything's calling. It's a cute frame with the seashells on it. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing's grabbing me. That is an interesting mirror. I'm not a big fan of this, but I do like the wood part and what they've done to it. 
I'm not one to redo and take things apart and make them what I like either. So there's too much stuff out there. I can find the stuff that I like. If I just have some patience, it comes along. This looks old. Look at that. Very heavy paint. I'm going to say that canvas looks like it's about 40 or 50 years old. Is that a signature? I don't see a signature. It's really a nice impressionist uh, piece of art for $5.99. So let's carefully put that in our cart as well. We'll go into their catch-all they call fabrics. Let's see what goodies are here. I like the pine cones. What are these though? Napkins? They're napkins. People still use cloth napkins? I guess for like some formal settings. I know I'm going to restaurants where they use cloth. That's a pillowcase. It's kind of cute. And generally it's not an overly popular thing, so it's not going to be easy to sell. Towels, sheets. I tend to not look at sheets, but we will go down to the pillowcases because sometimes there can be some bougie pillowcases. Mardi Gras theme. <gasps> oh, those guys are super cute. Mm. No, don't need them today though, because I am being picky. Oh my goodness, their toys are piling over. There's some interesting faces in there that I just needed to contemplate a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Any older Barbies? No, newer Barbies. Okay. We'll get on the other side. They got a whole clothes rack here in my way. And let's see, what are you? Oh my, you're a little bit scary looking. Wait, come on. Is that going to give a kid nightmares? Those eyes, those eyes are not right. Not right at all. Let's see if there's... Yeah. Anything exciting, but no, I am not seeing anything exciting. I thought I'd found the purses, but apparently this is just backpacks. Because that's really all I see here, and I don't know where the purses are. i got to go hunt further. Okay, I found them. They have all their purses right up front. Over here. Oh, things are shifting in my cart. So let's see kind of prices they have. That's the first thing. $9.99, $6.99, It's kind of all over the place depending what it is. I'm not really seeing anything calling to me. Yeah. Nothing. No. Nothing, nothing saying by me today. Well, I think that's going to do it for us. We're going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it is worth. That is coming up right now.
say, tell me how I did. I think I was pretty picky. I think I got some really good things. I'm kind of excited about that artwork. The, uh, those wood pieces, I forgot the name of them already, but they were in the recap. The only ones I can find for sale on eBay are in the hundreds of dollars. So I have to dig a little further, maybe talk to George the Antique Nomad about those. Those are the kind of pieces that can really score you a huge profit, but they're usually long tail. That means you're gonna hold on to them a while waiting for just that right buyer, but that's okay. They're also the perfect type of piece to put on Cherish.com, C-H-A-I-R-I-S-H. That's how you spell it. Um, I'm a little disappointed I couldn't get the third one, um, but it's okay. I got two, at least I got two. And so, away we go. To go get this stuff all processed in and get it up, I'm putting things into my whatnot marketplace now. It's something brand new they're doing so that you don't have to hold a show to sell things. Those things can just be in your marketplace, much like eBay or any of the other sites that you sell. So I'm really excited about that because then you can convert those items into your shows and auction them off much, much easier than say taking something that you've listed on eBay and then bringing it over. I'm really excited to get this going. It's a new month. I am always feel like fresh starts and new changes and, and all this stuff happens every time we have a new month, a new week, a new day. I know, it's just the way my brain works. So uh, be watching for that. I have a link down in the first comment of this video where you can claim $15 to go spend over on Whatnot. Doesn't even have to be with me. It can be with anybody on Whatnot. Go find the things that bring you joy over on Whatnot. All right, until I see you again, go be profitable and make it fun.